Hi everybody, today in front of me I have this Realme Narzo 50A Prime smartphone and in this video I would like to review the top display settings that you can change on this device. So first of all open up the settings app, go to the display and here we are. So the first we are greeted with the brightness level setting that allows us to regulate the brightness level of the display on this device. You can also by tapping on this uh, button you can set the automatic uh, brightness level adjustment so it will so your system will adjust the brightness level of your screen according in accordance with the ambient lighting that you have around you there is also an option to turn on the dark mode or get it back to the light mode and there is also an opportunity to set some schedule for the switch process between these two modes uh, we can also set up the auto resolution uh, which me which means that uh, once the system uh, thinks that we are running out of battery or in order to preserve the battery while uh, there is the high load on our phone, uh, the system will just go ahead and uh, adjust the resolution and decrease it in order to preserve some of the battery and preserve the phone from overheating as well. Next we have the night light. So once I turn it on, uh, you'll see that the everything became warmer and uh, less aggressive to your eyes. Basically what the setting do is that it uh, filters out the blue light and makes everything, every color warmer. We can regulate the intensity of this effect by altering this bar. Or as it was in some of the previous settings, we can also set some schedule for the automatic uh, activation of this mode. I'll just go ahead and get things back to normal. Next we have the color and contrast uh, feature or should I say category of display settings that allows us to change uh, what color scheme will be applied for the interface on our device. We can either choo choose between uh, co two contrast presets, vivid and gentle, and regulate the um, color, the color scheme. So we can either be at standard mode, cool mode, warm mode, and also we can manually, by altering this palette, we can manually set up the color scheme. And as you can see on top of that, uh, color and contrast page, we'll see the preview picture that allows us to understand what colors that we have set will look like. So next we have mm, the video display enhancement that once enabled enhances the video display quality uh, to make colors brighter and more vivid as you can see in here. And uh, at the bottom of the page there are also there is also the list of the apps that support this feature. So we highly recommend that you try enabling this setting and see if there is any result for yourself, obviously. Next, we have the adaptive brightness, set, adaptive brightness setting that I've showed you once the altering this brightness level switch. It's basically just another instance for this button. So if you want your brightness level to be regulated automatically in accordance with the ambient lighting, you can just go ahead and turn on the switch. Next, we have the wallpaper settings. It's just a separate tab for you to change the, both lock screen and home screen wallpapers. You can choose from the photos, from your gallery, from the set of standard wallpapers that are present on this device. Or you can also uh, change the wallpapers among the list of live wallpapers selector. Next, we have the screen timeout setting that uh, defines the time uh, in after after which the phone, the screen will turn off automatically once being in the idle status for this much time. For like any chosen value of time. Then we have auto rotate screen uh, that once activated, make sure that the display and layout uh, of your interface is being uh, changed between uh, portrait and horizontal mode alongside uh, you physically rotating the phone into one of those modes. Next we have uh, the font size setting that allows us to increase or decrease the font by altering this bar. That is also the screen saver settings uh, that allow us to set some scenarios and what our screen will look like for in that scenario. So it saves the screen time and saves the battery. So for example, um, the scenarios that we can choose are to turn on the screen saver once the phone is charging while docked, while charging or docked or never. I'll just put it to never and we can set what our screen server will look like. For example, enable or disable night mode for it or choose uh, 
if you want to see a digital or analog clock on it. Next, we have the lock screen setting that allows us to uh, to change and adjust what we would like to see at the lock screen of this device. You can change what notifications or whether you want to show all notifications or don't show notifications at all. Uh, add text on the lock screen, some of the custom text, so it will be displayed over there. Double click uh, on the lock screen. So as you can see, once the switch is activated, we'll can just tap on any vacant space we have on our home screen in order to lock the screen. Lift phone to check. So uh, once enabled, if we'll lift the phone, it will bring us to the lock screen. And lastly, uh, work screen for notifications. Uh, if you will receive any new notification, uh, the screen will turn on automatically. All right, so that was it, not only for this uh, display setting, but also for the video in general. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.